The bond between a mother bear and her cubs is an unbreakable one, and for this bear, her babies were her entire world. She was frantic when she realized that her precious cubs had gotten stuck in a large metal container just out of her reach. Desperation set in, but just when she thought all hope was lost, a glimmer of help arrived on the horizon. Conservationists witnessed the profound impact of human expansion on wildlife regularly, and the black bear is no exception. These creatures, which should ideally roam forests and mountains, have increasingly adapted to urban environments in recent years. The encroachment of human communities into their natural habitats has forced these bears to seek food sources in unexpected places. The black bear's attraction to human communities stems from the easy availability of food. Trash cans, in particular, are a treasure trove for a hungry bear. As a result, they are becoming a more common sight in towns and cities as time goes on. Trash becomes a readily accessible source of sustenance, often more enticing than traditional hunting. Additionally, a study published in the Journal of Zoology in 2003 found that bears near urban areas tend to be more active during the nighttime hours. Mike Mitchell, a bear researcher with the U.S. Geological Survey, commented on the adaptability and resourcefulness of bears, stating that they are extremely efficient foragers and can quickly identify a good food source and make the most of it. However, even intelligent and resourceful bears can find themselves in precarious situations. In July 2012, a couple in New Mexico heard cries emanating from a nearby dumpster. Upon investigating, they came across a frantic adult black bear lingering close by. To their astonishment, some of the cries were coming from inside the dumpster itself. The conclusion was clear. The bear was a mother, and her cubs had become trapped. It wasn't the first time these bears had been seen around those dumpsters, as one of the witnesses, Shirley Shank, revealed. She mentioned that the bears knew how to open the latch to the dumpster. Shirley and her husband Tom were determined to assist the bear cubs. They fetched their pickup truck, ensuring that they had a ladder in the truck bed for the rescue. As they approached the dumpster with the truck, the mother bear cautiously retreated but remained close to her cubs. Shirley carefully lowered the ladder into the dumpster, and then the shanks backed away, watching with anticipation. The baby bears displayed their cleverness. Even as the mother bear returned to her vigilant post outside the dumpster, her cubs were already making their way out. Initially, only one fuzzy head appeared above the lip of the container, but it was quickly joined by a second cub. Soon, both cubs were perched on the ladder, and a third and final cub emerged. With careful coordination, they all descended to the ground. Mommy Bear patiently waited for her first baby to reach the ground before calmly sauntering away, grateful for the kindness shown to her family. The mother bear was soon followed by her other precious cubs, and together, they strolled out of sight. One might assume that getting close to potentially dangerous wild animals would have terrified the shanks. However, Shirley remained unfazed. I was not scared, she confidently told ABC News. I had my husband driving and I knew we'd drop the ladder and go. I would have never done that on foot. Shirley's calm demeanor stemmed from her prior experiences helping bears in similar predicaments. Remarkably, this wasn't the first time the Shanks had assisted bears in escaping dumpsters. In fact, it was the third time they had come to the rescue and they weren't alone in facing such situations. It had happened elsewhere as well, like in Minnesota, for instance. In October 2017, two bear cubs found themselves trapped inside a dumpster while searching for food. A concerned woman noticed their predicament and attempted to coax them out. Unfortunately, the dumpster's sides were too tall for the cubs to climb. They required assistance to escape. The kind-hearted woman was soon joined by a growing crowd, and together they lowered a ladder into the dumpster for the cubs. One of the cubs seized the opportunity to make its escape, quickly utilizing the ladder to climb out. The second cub, initially apprehensive due to the onlookers, had a brief moment of doubt during its first escape attempt and returned to the dumpster. However, upon realizing that the crowd posed no threat, the baby bear swiftly ascended the ladder and joined its sibling to freedom. These situations involving bears becoming trapped in dumpsters seem to be a recurring issue and may continue to occur. Rosemary Stassi, a biologist for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, offers advice for those encountering bears. She reassures that bears are rarely aggressive toward people and generally tend to ignore them. 
However, she recommends not making direct eye contact as it can be perceived as confrontational. Stassi advises calmly backing away from bears to ensure everyone's safety. Shirley Shank echoes this sentiment and shares her approach, saying, Anytime I see them, I just go in the other direction on purpose, unless, of course, they are playing the role of the rescue ranger. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Thank you once again, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.